Hey, what's going on guys? My name is David Caprino and I'm here with... Jenna. That's <laughs> Mia. Spider-Man. Hey, and where are we going? Comic-Con, baby! The train is now approaching. <laughs> Finally made it. We're finally, finally here. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's an excellent looking place. Hey, what do we got on the menu here?
what's going on guys? I just wanted to shoot this small clip at the end of this video to just kind of describe more of what you saw throughout this video. So I wanted to vlog more while I was at Comic-Con, but the thing is I was trying to carry this camera and vlog with that one, and then I was trying to take pictures with my phone camera, and then I was taking pictures for everyone else, and I was trying to soak in everything in the environment, so I didn't really vlog a whole lot. So I just took a bunch of pictures, and I can put up some of them as I'm talking through this. You'll see them down what I think is gonna be in the corner right over here. So the thing with Comic-Con, while it was really neat and it was fun, uh, I'm glad I went. The thing is, I wasn't really in tune with everything that they were doing. I didn't know all the characters. I didn't know all the anime. I didn't know everything that was going on. I just saw things that I liked and was like, oh, what's that? Let's go check that out. Whereas with TwitchCon, I was more involved and in tune with uh, the games that are coming out, those characters. So it was just kind of like a different kind of crowd. So if you're into more of like what I'm going to call a comic book or anime scene, uh, that would be more so for you. Uh, I think TwitchCon had a lot more for me. Uh, as far as like things to do, things to go and see, people I can relate with, people that I was more interested in. There was a lot of uh, like cosplayers there that I wasn't familiar with. Besides like someone like Spider-Man or Bane or Batman, those are the more of the ones that I'm more familiar with. But uh, overall, I think it was a fun experience and I'm glad that I went. So after that, in that same mall where Comic-Con was being held, there was this place called Devil's Door Brewery, if I'm remembering that correctly. And this place was awesome. You could see that uh, there's those two like devil statues outside, which were really cool. We got pictures next to those. Uh, we went inside and it was like half kind of club because they had uh, a place for like where a DJ would sit and then it was almost like there was a dance floor in front of it I couldn't totally tell but the place was packed I thought it had excellent food and it was just an overall good experience there I would definitely go back to there and then the last place we went to that you saw with all the money all over it was barrel malt bar but this place was insanely expensive it, and it was beautiful this would be something where like right after payday I would go or for those of you that are getting stationed in Osan and want to take someone on a nice date this would definitely be it if you want to impress them they start out by giving you the bottle of whiskey menu so when we were flipping through stuff we saw bottles of whiskey that were like hundreds hundreds of dollars, some of them even a thousand dollars. And we had to ask for like the actual single drink menu. We were just looking for like a single beer, or, like a single thing of scotch or whiskey to have. In addition to that, they actually bring you into a private room. So you and all your buddies can sit there in this room. And then on top of that, they have cover charge right off the bat. There's no band playing. There's nothing of that sort going on. It's just walking in the place. If you plan on staying there, it's 5,000 won to start with. And then we got a beer and I think a shot of whiskey. And the shot of whiskey was like $15 and the beer was like $17. So it's definitely uh, on the more expensive side, but it was an awesome experience. But that was a super long day. Uh, we were basically out for most of the day and really I was just so drained and just so not focused on vlogging that I didn't take a whole lot of video. So I apologize for that. But in any case, go ahead and follow my friends. Uh, check their links out in the description down below. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh.